This is the English 2.0 podcast. Communicate globally. Raise your level. Speak English naturally. Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the English 2.0 podcast. My name is Al. Thank you for watching today. Today we are going to cover part two of the truth about your English education. So please stay tuned for that section coming right up. But uh, before that, I'd like to highlight quickly a follower of mine on Twitter. And he goes by the handle of at 80 Thai Show. Now, the reason I want to highlight this, uh, this follower is because um, a few weeks back I posted a tweet on Twitter uh, about Obamacare. Now, if you're not familiar with Obamacare, it is a recent uh, law passed in the U.S. Uh, for the new health care system, uh, mostly, I guess, legislated by President Obama. And uh, my comment was simply kind of against the idea of Obamacare, and, um, and so A.D. Taisho replied to me and said, oh, why? Why is it bad? And so I just tweeted him back briefly, and I said, well, I, you know, I expressed my views about how it kind of takes, a, it took away, uh, it will take away uh, certain freedoms uh, from individuals in America. And uh, if you'd like to see my, more of my views about Obamacare, you can go to alsensei.com slash Obamacare. And we won't get into the whole uh, argument here. But anyway, um, so he replied and said, wow, I, I don't know so much about it. So can I research it a little bit and then write to, back to you a little bit longer about my views? And I said, absolutely, of course. Yeah, this is really good. And so he did just that. He researched the topic, uh, wrote a little bit longer piece, and sent it back to me on email. And I was really, really happy to receive that. Um, it ends up that you know, his views are a little bit different than mine, but hey, that's not the point. The point is he was willing to research a topic and engage in a discussion. So folks, guys, uh, gals out there, this is true English 2.0 mentality. I love this. So if you are looking to improve, you know, express your ideas, in this case, um, express your ideas on paper and writing, engage with an English speaker, you know, share your thoughts, share your opinions. This is how to do it, folks, you know. If you would certainly want to express your ideas on any kind of issue or topic, I would love to hear from you. And you can contact me, al at alsensei.com, anytime, please. If you want to talk politics, you want to talk economics, you want to talk culture, anything, please feel free. And I would love to hear from you. So uh, at 80 Taisho, thank you so much for engaging in meaningful discussion. I really appreciate that. And others out there, I hope you follow that example. It's a really, really good uh, example to follow. So let's start, as usual, with a pronunciation point. All right, in today's pronunciation point, let's talk about the difference between angry and hungry. Okay, so those two words, of course, sound very similar, but with a little bit of practice, we can master the difference between them. So let's start with the word angry. Okay, so, of course, we do not have any consonant sound at the beginning. We start with the angry sound, okay, so ang, okay, so of course you see an A there, and um, actually this is going to be almost a natural A sound, so combined with the A-N-G, ang, okay, so please listen one more time, ang, ang, okay, Good, good. All right, and then add gri, angry. Okay, one more time. 
angry. Okay, so please note, now this is kind of a flat A or natural, almost a natural A sound, ang. Okay, so it's a flat A sound like in the word cat or happy or apple. Okay, ang, angry. All right, let's talk about hungry. Okay, un hungry, in hungry, of course, now we have the H uh, sound that we need to produce, so the H huh sound, okay? And also the U sound. Now, the U is going to be a flat U sound, so that's going to be a uh sound. So we're going to say hung, H, huh, hung. Okay, so please listen to the difference between just the beginning of the word. Hung, ang. Okay, one more time. Hung, ang. Okay, it's quite different if you can hear that properly. Okay, now the last part of the word is the same thing, gree. So please listen and repeat. Hungry, hungry. Good, now please listen and repeat. Uh, angry. Angry. Okay, so it's really the, the main uh, sound is that vowel sound at the beginning. And it's quite different. We have the uh, kind of the flat A sound in angry and flat U sound in hungry. All right, great. So let's practice some example sentences using those words. My boss was very angry at me today. My boss was very angry at me today. Okay, very good. Nicely done. Let's try another one with hungry. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm really hungry. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm really hungry. All right, nicely done. Good job. So hopefully you can hear the difference between hungry and angry. And uh, please keep practicing those, and you will master that in just a little bit. Uh, if you pre keep practicing a little bit every day. It only takes a couple of minutes to practice every day, so don't stress about it. Keep it up, and you'll be able to, to master those sounds very quickly. So good luck. If you would like more natural sounding English pronunciation, please sign up for my free pronunciation course at alsensei.com slash tips. All right, in today's main topic, we're going to continue our discussion on the truth about your English education. This is part two, and we'll pick it up with the topic of proactivity. All right, the third topic uh, we'll talk about uh, with the truth about English education is proactivity. So what do I mean by proactivity? Well, pro being proactive uh, means basically you are taking the first action. Uh, so the opposite is reaction, right? So reaction means you are, you are the second action, okay? so. Um, in our schools, many of us were taught to be very reactive. So we wait for the teacher to give us an assignment, or we wait for the teacher to say something, or we wait for the teacher to you know, call on us. It means a very reactive uh, habits that, we were, that were formed in our early education. And this is extremely, extremely dangerous when we become adults because um, being reactive is a very ineffective way to be successful. In fact, it is probably destructive. Uh, being proactive, taking the first action or taking control is very key to being a successful speaker or whatever area of success that you are going for. So it is very, very important to understand the idea of proactivity and understand the idea of choice and force, okay? So if in our schools, you know, we did, really didn't know because we were young, but we were actually being forced to learn this habit of reaction. And 
we have to kind of unlearn that. We have to get rid of this habit in order to form the, the good habit of being proactive. Now, this also comes back to you know, the first topic of goals in that, again, we were not uh, you know, allowed to really choose our own goal when we were younger. And so now it is up to us to decide this goal, be proactive and choose why we are learning English, which goes back to uh, last, the last episode uh, of the podcast, Why Are You Learning English? So one example of being reactive is, you know, we are often taught certain ways to answer certain questions. Uh, for example, you know, if somebody asks you, how are you? The, the common uh, answer is, oh, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, and you? And it is taught really as a reaction, not a response. Okay, so I want to talk about the difference between react and respond. All right, so react means that you, you know, you get some input, you hear something and just spit out the answer uh, without any thought or feeling. So in the case of how are you, oh, I'm fine, thank you, and you is, you know, people just spit that out without really thinking about it or feeling it. It's just the, you know, correct answer. Well, this is, you know, exactly what leads to, you know, your lack of communication because it takes away your credibility and also takes away your identity and personality when you do this. Okay, response or responding means that you get the input, you hear the question, you think and feel, and then you give your reply. Okay, so if somebody asks you, how are you? Well, maybe you are, you are tired, okay? Or maybe you are pretty good, okay? Um, but there are many ways of uh, responding to that question. And many of this is one example. There are many other things. So please understand the difference between reacting and responding. All right, and here's one more point um, about why your schooling in English was probably very harmful to you. And this is because learning in a classroom is just very unnatural anyway. If you think about it, why are you learning? Okay, what's the purpose of learning? Well, you know, when I was a student, I thought the purpose of learning was to get into university and then get a good job, right? So if that's true, then why are we learning things like history? Or why are we learning things like um, science? I mean, I'm not, you know, my plan was never to be a scientist. Why do I need to learn science? So, <laughs> actually, so of course, there is, that, that is not the reason that we're learning. The reason that we are learning is to understand how we interact with the world. That's why we're learning. Okay, so it doesn't really make sense to learn in a classroom. It's very unnatural because we're not connecting the concepts to real life experience. And so, you know, for English, you know, we learn things in a classroom. If we don't have a chance to apply it, we don't have a chance to use it in real world settings, it's just not, uh, it's not useful in my opinion. So that's why I think for most of us, you know, getting out there in the real world and using it, learning it, I mean, that's just the best way to, to learn something because there's a personal connection. There's a personal connection to you. And this is why we learn successfully. When we learn a concept, you know, for example, history, like his, learning history in a classroom is one of the most boring things I can think of. But if you visit a historical place or go at least go to a museum or something, you can see uh, things in a museum. You can see art or you visit a historical place like a temple or a church and you can see, um, you, know, you can learn about this kind of uh, building or this, you know, how this, uh, you know, was 
a part of history and learn why uh, this was important instead of just learning names and dates, things like that. And I think this is so important to learning because you, have, you need that personal connection uh, to really understand and enjoy, enjoy you know, your learning experience. And so, you know, I, I know that some people probably learn well in a classroom, but for me, I just did not. And so, you know, again, uh, if you are learning English in a classroom, you know, you are learning what the teacher wants to teach you. You are learning, if you went to a public school, you are learning what the government wants you to learn. You are not choosing what you want to learn. And so, you know, I think that's a reason to be angry. And so now, if you are an adult, you can choose this. Okay, and I want you to really think about your early education in English. Uh, rethink it. Think about you know if you really benefited from it or did it harm you. And I want you to think about these things. And you know if you you know connect to what I'm saying here, please you know contact me. Let me know how you feel. If you completely disagree with me, think uh, my ideas are crazy. Also, I would like to hear from you, but um, again, this is English 2.0. I want to help you succeed, and I want to change this mindset, these early mindsets that we've had, this test mentality garbage, and this shy garbage. You know, this is just garbage, okay? We don't, this is just things, you know, it's part of our mindset. We change it, okay? You can break this now break it today get on a new path toward success and true fulfillment uh, in your life uh, and that's why I'm doing this show that's why I do this podcast is to help you reach that next level of success and fulfillment uh, when you learn English and use it alright so let's go to our action plan so the first step is you know for for the shyness if you do feel shy um, speaking out in English, again, change your environment. Okay, so first of all, think about the people you spend time with when you are learning English or using English. If you feel uncomfortable, change the people, change the club, change the class. Get around people you feel comfortable with, and your that shyness will disappear immediately. All right. So again, th this is. I've studied successful people. This is what successful people do. They get around people that they feel comfortable with and can learn from and raise their level, help them and motivate them and push them to the next level. All right, the next action step to break test mentality is just go out and use English in the real world. All right, so I've given a number of uh, examples of how you can do that and previous podcasts but um you know find a club um, try to make friends um, whatever you can do try to use English in the real world connect it personally to you and that's when you're really going to see rapid improvement okay so put those two action steps um, into place and yes you will be on your way to uh, level English 2.0 so in conclusion, uh, I just wanted to say, um, you know, there's not really much that uh, many of us can do about our past, uh, especially about our early school days. Um, but what we can do is just understand the truth about it and understand how it affected us and we can learn from that. Um, and so I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, and maybe it'll help understand other things about the past as well. And, um, you know, hopefully you realize that, you know, if you do, if you have felt a bit uncomfortable watching this, um, you know, you want to be angry at me, you know, that's fine. Um, but I really, you know, advise you to really think about the past, think about, you know, the people who are honest with you. Um, think about the people who were dishonest with you, people who, you know, continue to tell you these lies, including your, 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 uh, your teachers, your, 
school, your government, and maybe in some cases your family were you know, talking about you know, this shyness garbage, um, talking about you know, you know, learn English to pass the test. I mean, it's important, of course, for that, uh, for that goal, but you know, not telling you about how it relates to you know, real-world communication, that is being a bit dishonest. You know, and think about these, you know, things that um, have been dishonest in your life, you know, and that's why I'm doing this podcast today. And so, you know, if you feel uh, a bit uncomfortable and you want to express some displeasure toward me, please, you know, send me an email. I'd love to, to hear from you. If this message is really connecting with you and you feel really, uh, you feel good about um, hearing this, not good, but you, you feel like you connect to this message, please let me hear from you. Um, and if, you know, if you want to continue to believe in this national character nonsense or um, you want to, you know, you don't want to be honest about uh, your, your early high school days um, and how it affected you negatively, um, you know, that's fine. Um, this is probably not the podcast for you. I would advise, you know, going somewhere else for your future English learning. And, you know, I know that's not, um, you know, maybe advisable for, for me to come out and say this because, of course, I want more people to watch. But, um, you know, I, I just want to be honest with everyone out there. And, you know, I want to, you know, the people I realize in my life, the people who are honest to me have been the true inspirational uh, people in my life and the people who were not honest, yeah, I, I just ha have a little bit of, um, I don't know, dissatisfaction uh, with them. So anyway, uh, that is going to be all. The good news is we can change it. You know, you can make any kind of change that you want and that's the beauty of being human. Uh, we can make changes. We have the freedom of choice. And we have the freedom of taking action. So please, you know, change your environment if you need to. Change the people that surround you if necessary. And think about your goals. And I wish you the best of luck. And, you know, let me know if you need any help or if you uh, want to hear from me. Uh, and I'd love to hear from you. So thank you. And good luck. All right, in today's English 2.0 quick tip, I'd like to mention a website. It is bbc.co.uk. And uh, we'll start on the home page here. Um, actually, I don't want to talk about the news page. I want to go to uh, the English learning page. So if you scroll down to the bottom, and you see here Learning English. And we'll go to Online Courses. And that'll bring you to bbc.co.uk slash world service slash learning English and you can see here now it says BBC learning English and this has a lot of great resources for you um, I'll just click quickly click on the first thing here which is six minute English and of course there is an kind of an article or uh, news story this one's called Nigerian oil theft and it'll be two people who talk about um, the topic here for a few minutes and then there'll be a couple of uh, well here's a uh, like a quiz uh, question at the end and then you can listen to that here and vocabulary uh, from that listening okay and again you can also download the audio and the text the the script of that right here so great uh, resource um, I'll click on this uh, tab, English at Work. Um, and again, it's kind of a, uh, perhaps a podcast or a, a continuing series, as you can see. Here's episode 25. Um, and maybe it's more of a business, um, uh, business English type thing. All right. And um, as you can see, lots of things here express English, talk about English. Uh, talking business, um, so just lots of um, resources here for you. Okay, 
so I'm not going to go over everything here, but um, you can, as you can see, there are lots of resources. So check it out. Um, that's the BBC Learning English page, and I hope you uh, check it out because, yeah, I think there's lots of good things uh, on there. So that is the quick tip for today. All right, that is all for today's episode. Um, thanks again for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at Al Sensei. Uh, join the Facebook fan page. That is facebook.com slash speaknaturalenglish. And if you want to check out some uh, additional videos on my YouTube channel, it is youtube.com slash user slash speaknaturalenglish. So thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.